Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending from where you are watching for this another episode of PP3 The Grace Family. Today I am with uh, a sister here. And with one of my sister here, there's something that she's complaining. She has been complaining uh, uh, seriously on phone. So we now told her that today that she should not worry that we are going to be here today. So we are here today. I don't know. I don't know. Let's uh, know her name and now hear from her direct. Please, madam, can you tell my audience your name? I am Mrs. Carlo. Mrs. Carlo. Please, Mrs. Carlo, please, can you tell my audience exactly what you have been calling on phone, what you have been complaining? What is really happening so that they will understand you more? I'm tired of my life. In fact, I don't understand what is happening again. Since how many years now my husband has been sick? And I don't know the reason, the, where the sickness is coming from. I don't even know what the cause of the sickness. In fact, the thing has come to a state that I can't even have a piece of my, my life. And my children, I don't even know how to do them. I've packed them and give to my sister so that I can be able to take care of this man. But yet, this man is still sick. I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to end. I need you people's help to come to my rescue and help me and set this man free. I don't know. That is the reason why I, I called you people. Okay, uh, guys, you can hear what she's saying, what she's complaining. You understand? You know, in this world, there's no family that did not have one problem or the other. There's no family that did not have ups and downs. You understand? You just know that things is really happening. You understand, guys? So, uh, uh, madam, please, uh, uh, what about that, your husband? Where is he now? He's at home. We've gone from one hospital to another, one prayer house to another, and still not available. I don't even know what else to do. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to end. That is the reason why I called. I just heard of you. I said, let me call and see whether a help will come from you people. Guys, guys, guys. Oh, wow. No, sir, this life eh? It's like this, they happen. Okay, uh, madam, it's only God that knows everything. But one thing I want to tell you is to believe in God and have faith. Do you understand? Yes. You know, there is sometimes when one is passing through challenges in life, you would think that all hope have gone. But sometimes when we did not even believe, where we did not even hope or even expect, that is where, where our help will come from, where our hope will come from, especially when we have faith. Because Bible let us let me understand that if we can have Faith small like a mustard seed, and we can our faith can move mountains, our faith can do undo. Do you understand? Because what God cannot do does not ex ex exist, there's nothing God cannot do. So, mother, I want to ask you, do you have faith? Do you believe God that your husband will get up in his feet? Do you believe that you will know that your husband and he looks as he is before? Do you believe in God? I believe that God do it. That is the reason why I came home. I believe that He will do it. I pray that God will help me and set him on feet again. Okay, uh, guys. You can see, uh, I believe that for she to even to call us and to be here today, and to me to be here today, I know that God has started his work. And that God that make you to call us and you have that faith and belief will complete it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? God is not a God of halfway. Mm -hmm. Whatever he started, he will complete it. Mm -hmm. All he needs from us is faith. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, guys, we are about to cut this video. We are about to cut this video. Believe and trust God. Do you understand? No learn things in this life. You understand? There's nobody that doesn't have problems. Challenges can come to anybody in this world. Nobody is about challenges in this world. But just to believe and, hope and trust in God. Have faith, guys. We are going to continue this video. So, madam, I think you are going to take us to your house. Since you say your husband is at home. Okay, ma. I will okay. take you. Guys, let's be, let me have to follow her. Let's go to her uh, house and see the husband and know what is really happening and see the man. You understand? When we get there, we are going to continue this video. God. He will sleep now. He will uh, sleep inside. Comfort. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, so I see cooking. Is it in our thousand? This to get up. To eat food itself is a problem. To get up, we have to help him to get up. Because he cannot be able to get up by himself. This is how it will be. In the night, it will be worse. The breathing, everything. Everything has tired me. I don't even know what to do with it. You know, I'm supposed to come with a, my pastor, but it's not my travel. He's not around. But anyway, it's faith and belief. You understand? Because when you started calling, he was around. Oh, he's not used to be around. Normally go for prayers and normally travel. But one thing I know is when you believe God with with faith, one can move mountain. Do you understand? Amen. Amen. God just help me. And that this is illness. Is it up to two years? Yes. It's more than that now. If it is not up to, I will not be afraid. When someone has gone to hospital, it's not giving anything. Go to church, nothing. Before someone I introduce me to you people, I'm tired. I want to, there's one thing I wanted to tell you. Spirit of fear. You understand? Yes. Spirit of fear. You have to remove spirit of fear in you. Because this spirit of fear have eaten you up. That every time you always be having scared. So you what will happen to my husband? This as a first of all, you have to remove spirit of fear. Kill that spirit of fear that's in you. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, sir. so that whatever you do with faith will be perfect. But when you put spirit of fear, if you do something, you have spirit of doubt. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. You need to pray. Mamma de Regio, she de gay, Mamma de Regio, Mamma de Regio, she de gay, Mamma de Regio, Mamma de Regia, can he be my Mamma de Regio, Chunko, Mamma de Regio, she de gay, Mamma de Regio. Ah, Jesus, Mother, pray. I want you to pray for your husband because the healing of your husband is in your hands. I want you to pray for your husband. I depend on you, King of Glory. I depend on you, Alpha and Omega. I depend on you, one day or two, Chimama. I depend on you, Lion of Judah. Jesus. Father, you have but done it before, oh God, you, you will do it again and again. Father, you will not see your daughter and change. Father, you have been doing it before and you do it again and again. Jesus, 
Unchangeable God, the God that never failed, omnipotent to the science God, the hour of the leader of our soul, the Baba King God, glory, the hour of God. You are the God that never failed, God. The mighty healer, the mighty man in battle. My God, my Father, oh God, we are your presence today, oh God. Because He said, when two or three have gathered that your presence is there, the Baba King God, we are in the presence of your Lord son Jesus. today. We are your presence, O God. We are your son's ass, O God. O oh God, do what no man cannot do. The Baba King God, do what no man cannot do. In the mighty name of Jesus, the ancient of days, I am that I am. Omnipotent God, my Redeemer, O God. Jesus, come and heal that. O my Redeemer, O Redeemer, 